Welcome back to another Workout Tip Wednesday. I'm Chris LeBlanc, Chef Practitioner and Owner of Chi Training Studio. Last time I showed you a fantastic a postural exercise called the Prone Cobra to help people get into extension, shoot your shoulders back. This time I'd actually like to show you three stretches you can do before initiating the Prone Cobra. And why we want to do them ahead of time is just to help turn off those muscles that we, we don't want. Uh, a lot of people overuse their, their chest and they're elevating muscle. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch them out so they don't get involved and then when you do the prone cobra the muscles we want to work will work more efficiently. Okay? So these, uh, I'm going to show you three. They're very simple ones to do. A couple rules you need to know. It's going to be an active stretch so we're going to be moving for two seconds into a stretch pattern and then relaxing for two seconds. We're always going to exhale on the stretch and then we're going to inhale when we come back to that resting position. Okay, so the very first one, we're going to, like I said, we're going to open up the chest. We actually have two for the chest. So we're going to do one called a horizontal chest stretch. Um, we're going to get into a little bit of an exaggerated clap position over here. So arms are going to stay relatively horizontal or parallel to the ground. We're going to inhale because we're in rest position. And then when we go into the stretch, we're going to exhale. And all we're trying to do is do a reverse clap or get those arms as abducted as possible. So nice easy inhale. And one more demo. Okay, so that's stretch number one. Stretch number two is in the exact same starting position, except this time we're going to go up to a 45 degree pattern or what would look like a letter Y. So we're going to start over here again in that nice horizontal position, take a nice deep inhale, and then with a nice smooth exhale, and each time you can try going a little further back. We're not trying to rip the arms out of the sockets, but just going into a little bit of a slight discomfort. Okay, so that's the horizontal, that's the 45. Your third stretch I'd like to show you is to turn off these, these trap or these elevating muscles. First, what you're gonna do in a seated position, uh, you'll wanna be on something like a, a bench, a chair, it's gonna you grab on underneath. You're going to grab hold and you're gonna make sure that shoulder blade is nice and vertical to the floor over here. So if we're in a, if we're in a slouched position holding, we're actually going to be stretching a muscle in a, in a poor position. So just slide with your other hand, make sure your shoulder blade is resting nicely, get a nice firm hold. We're trying to prevent this from following the ear because if this goes up, our muscle actually doesn't get any longer, hence we won't get a stretch. Okay, so my right arm is nice and planted. I'm actually going to turn 45 degrees to the right. And what I'm going to do in a second here is I'm going to flex or activate my little side benders of my neck to try and bring my left ear towards, say, my left armpit. As I'm going into the motion, what I'm going to do is an overhand grip. I'm going to apply one to three pounds of pressure and just help pull that head down further into that plane of motion. Okay? So nice, easy inhale. With an exhale, we're going to go move into the stretch and then I'm going to apply one to three pounds of pressure ensuring that my shoulder doesn't follow the direction of my neck. Nice easy inhale. And we're going to relax. You do the same thing for the other side, making sure you're nice and balanced. So those are your three exercises that you can do ahead of the prone cobra. You can do them up to 10 repetitions. Again, they're two seconds of contracting, two seconds of inhaling, uh, and not really applying too, too much force, just letting that body go into its, its natural state. If we put too much force, you're actually gonna then do a contraction, and it's gonna negate the, the stretch we're trying to do. All right, enjoy that. That's all for this workout tip Wednesday. Until next time, I'm Chris with Chief.